Hi, I'm Henry of BlueHeronArts.com. Yeah, I wish you, um, you had a good Christmas and uh, um, Happy New Year. Today I'm going to um, record a carving uh, process of a Chinese uh, seal. This is for Maria uh, in Sweden. Uh, she asked me to do a artist uh, named seal. In Chinese we call it a hao. Uh, or in Japanese they call it go. Uh, hao means the uh, artist name. Uh, you can have uh, multiple artist names uh, over the course of your career uh, to mark significant uh, changes in life or goals or ideas you had developed uh, in pursuit of uh, the art. So uh, this name that uh, Maria has is uh, uh, these three characters that she has chosen from uh, uh, with the help of uh, some uh, friends. Uh, the first character is Ma, which means uh, agate and it's kind of stone, it's also a good um, common word to translate the sound Ma in foreign names in Chinese. And the second character is uh, Lian or Lotus. And the third character is Spirit. Um, it all stays as uh, self, so uh, she must uh, uh, love to paint Lotus. Uh, the spirit and the Lotus is her artist's name. So uh, I have did some uh, study on the computer. You can see there are three different uh, uh, fonts in different uh, seal scripts. And uh, each one has negative and positive options uh, for Maria to choose. And she, cho she picked this one, number five, uh, with negative carving and the uh, standard Han Dynasty uh, or actually it was the s s uh, standard seal script was unified by the Qing, the first emperor of China and uh, you know also it's standardized in the first uh, uh, Chinese dictionary the, the character uh, is written in this style so it's very classical And now uh, I have made a printout from the computer, so it matched the stone that she chose. And uh, I used the transfer paper, as you have seen in other videos, to make the transfer and the copy. I, I uh, used marker pen to trace that afterwards, so you can see. Uh, the mirror image. I also I had a flipped image um, in the background as I carve, so you can trace where I'm doing. Okay, when I carve, uh, I always go one direction, and I turn the stone according to my needs. When the the uh, stroke is cursive, you have to turn the stone constantly uh, to make the curved lines. So I'll do some uh, straight ones first. This is called cutting. It's good to apply on uh, stones of a uh, hard quality. Um, so I kind of cut continually just like that. So mostly I use cutting for straight lines. Just push down This stone is kind of 
powder uh, there's not much chipping so you cannot hear the sound maybe this one better so you can repeat to make a modifications okay now This is a long, long line, so we'll do the pushing all the way, all the turns and the curves in one single stroke, just like uh, use the knife as a brush to write. It's very important to have that kind of uh, Calligraphic thing. I lift the and I reduce the pressure to create different thickness in the line. So you just like you write, press and lift. Sometimes uh, the direction is the opposite of writing. Now the second character, Lian or Lotus. The first means uh, agate. It's a kind of stone, fossil stone. This stone is almost uh, as hard as the. Uh, I think it's just not that hard, but uh, f um, I could also use it as a seal. It's a Changhua stone, it's very hard. You cannot hear the sound because the stone is so fine. It doesn't chip, it's just powder.
got a sand nail there, so use cut to overcome hard sand. Okay, now the third character, Spirit. This stone is very suitable for this style. You will not uh, see the rough edge, it can keep it smooth. If I want it rough, I can do it. You know. Turn the stone. I can feel my muscle when I do the carving on hard stone. Last stroke. Yeah. Oh, gosh, it's very hard. 
Okay, I'm going to make a first imprint. See how it looks like. This is the computer printout. This is the stand. Hey, you like it? So it's like a hand writing or hand carving. Um, it comes more natural with uh, the life movement or the uh, breath. So it's uh, um, to you know to give the uh, spirit into the characters. So um, we can. Do some uh, adjustment and polishing, and then um, make a facial stand. One more time, pay attention on the outside and downside, and press the seal carefully onto the paper, and then apply pressure evenly. Do not move, and use your left hand, hold the paper in place and lift it gradually you know up upward and you have a perfect print you can see uh, it will be more grainy with a uh, hard padding and with soft padding you will see more solid solid print up um, let's do an official then our official imprint in my portfolio. These are all the customized uh, seals I made before. This is the final one. I hope uh, Maria um, enjoyed watching this herself and everybody, everybody on YouTube also uh, have a good time and um, hope you have happy painting and uh, um, 
have a health and a wealth uh, new year 2011. Thank you. Goodbye.